You might snicker at this next story, but for astronauts, it's serious business. NASA hopes to return to the moon in 2024, but it has a million problems to sort out before it happens. One of them? trying to get a single toilet to work in outer space. As Mike Jolay reports, it's a problem that needs more than just rocket science. It takes a remarkable amount of smarts to get to the moon. Obviously, right? NASA has to think of everything, from the rockets to the spacesuits, the food, and of course how the astronauts go to the bathroom. For the Apollo missions of the 1960s, they used vacuum seal bags, which seems like an afterthought. The way we went to the moon in Apollo, it just was not tenable to, to ask an astronaut to go through the, the Apollo bag scenario again. Part of the transcript from that Apollo 10 mission in 1969 reads, I didn't do it. It ain't one of mine, followed by, I don't think it's one of mine. And I'll leave it at that. So as NASA gears up for Artemis, the program to return to the moon in 2024, they're asking for help. There are three companies that are competing to design the lunar lander. And now NASA, through the Canadian crowdsourcing startup Hero X, has launched the Lunar Loot Challenge. The amount of talent that exists in the, in the world is, is unfathomable almost. But they're underutilized. You know, we're still stuck in an organizational mindset of I hire a team and we try to solve problems. Cliff Edwards, a Canadian who's won 32 of the over 100 challenges he's entered, is among the over 1,200 inventors who've signed up in the first 24 hours. A, it's NASA, and B, it's, it's about uh, bathrooms, toilets, or poop. And those are very attractive to a lot of people because it's like, maybe we can think of something even if we don't know about space, you know, it's, it's very open kind of challenge. But it won't be easy. The toilet has to work in the microgravity we see on the space station. And then after a 20 hour journey from orbit to the moon, it has to convert to lunar gravity, which is one sixth of what we have on Earth. There's suction involved or getting a good seal with your butt, uh, on, you know, for a going number two. So it's not just sitting on a toilet and going. There's, you know, straps and harnesses. Yes, there's harnesses, so giggle away. Nobody likes to talk about this stuff, but it's a fact of life. And NASA will do anything it can to avoid another Apollo 10 incident. We have to solve these fundamental challenges of human physiology. This is, this is an important one. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.